Hello everyone, welcome to session 12 of LTEC 654. Let me start out by saying congratulations and welcome to the gallery of postmodern lemonade stands. First up in our gallery of postmodern lemonade stands is Group A with Zombie Apocalypse. Next up we have Group B with Rainbow Musubi. Followed by Group C with Musubi Mayhem. Next up we have Poke Cat by Group D. And we have YouTuber Teenager by Group E. And last but not least we have Smoothies by Group F. Congratulations everyone on completing Game Production Project 1. I have compiled all of your games for the web and have made them available so you can play them online. So be sure to check out the various projects that are available. Now let's talk a little bit about the assignments for session 12. By and large, this is a session that allows you to decompress a little bit after four weeks of working on your game productions. However, there will be three assignments. The first assignment is a critical reflection. The second assignment is a teammate assessment. And the third assignment is a next step survey. Now, three assignments sounds like a lot, but again, it's pretty basic. So let me walk through all of these. So critical reflection six, that's going to be due on Monday, November 14th. And you guessed it, it's simply a reflection on your role on the project, how you contributed to your project success, and importantly, what you learned about game design and game programming, and what parts of the game you might change if you had more time. Now the next assignment is the teammate assessment. This is an online Google form that is going to prompt you to reflect on what it's been like working in a team on a complex project for four weeks. So it's time to use this assessment to assess yourself and your teammates. So to do this, you're going to fill out this form four times, once for yourself and once for your three teammates. The first part of this teammate assessment focuses on contributions to the project accomplishments. And it has items like this teammate showed initiative by taking on relevant tasks or this teammate attended scheduled meetings and was prepared. And you can see here there's a strongly disagree to strongly agree Likert scale. And there's also a not applicable option in case that applies to your particular context. The second part of the teammate assessment focuses on contributions to leadership and team processes. And this also has five items such as this teammate helped the team focus on priorities and this teammate encouraged everyone to contribute. So again, you're going to assess yourself the first time and then you're going to assess each of the teammates individually. Now this assessment is not anonymous for grading purposes, but the data from this will only be used in aggregate to help me with my grading for the team project. There's also an open-ended item in case you want to share anything else with me. Now, the third and last assignment is the next step survey. And this survey, also going to be due on November 14th, is simply give me some input on what the next game production project should look like. To do that, I simply want you to answer three items. Do you prefer to work in a group? And if you do prefer to work in a group, do you prefer to work with the same group or do you prefer to work with a new group? Or do you prefer to work solo? And then finally, do you prefer to have the scope and topic of the next game production project assigned, kind of like we did with the lemonade stand? Or do you want to come up with your own idea? So again, the next step survey, I'll take a look at all of your responses, and this will help me figure out what game production project number two should look like. So this brings us to where are we going? And honestly, the next part of the class is to be determined. And that is going to be influenced by the overall quality of the projects you just submitted. I'm just beginning to look at those. 
as well as the quality and sentiments of your critical reflections that you're going to submit on Monday, as well as the next step survey results. So I'll be taking all of that into consideration when thinking about where we're going. Also, we need to keep in mind the schedule. After this week, there's only five remaining sessions, sessions 12 through 16. We have to keep in mind that the Thanksgiving holiday is part of those five remaining sessions. Now, there are some additional topics that I'd like to introduce through tutorials, and those include working with the concept of arrays, repeating code with loops, detecting collisions, and saving a game state. So those will be topics I'll try to cover in the last few weeks of the semester. Okay, everyone, we're out of time for this video. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.